Question 8 of the WAS 2019 Mathematics Pass Question, that's your YEC 2019, it says, if 23Y is equal to 111 in base 2, find the value of Y, okay? This is, um, you know, number basis, all right? So all we need to do is convert this particular base on our left-hand side, okay, to base 10, and also the one on our right-hand side toward base 10, okay? And you, I hope you remember in converting, you know, you have to write your, your powers. This is 0, start from 0, this is 1, and this is what? 2. You know, you start from your from your right hand side for this uh, particular side this is zero this is one this is two and this is what three these are powers for the bases all right so in converting this to what space 10 what do we do we have what this is a oh 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 sorry sorry this should be a typo from the question okay all right this should be base y this is y this y should be a base so y this will be a zero and one okay this y should be a base all right okay sorry for that error there all right so in converting this to base 10 what do we have we have two times what y raised to power one plus i hope you know your conversion from one base to another to base 10 especially all right plus 3 times what y raised to power 0 equal to, so here this is um, in base 2, so we have 1 times 2 raised to power 3 plus 1 times what 2 raised to power 2, these are the powers, plus 1 times what 2 raised to power 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 0. Okay, so from here we have 2 times y raised to power 1. y raised to power 1 is still what y, and y times 2 will give us what 2y. Plus, what is y raised to power 0? Anything raised to power 0 is a 1, and 1 times 3 will give us what 3. Equal to, here we have 2 raised to power 3. What is 2 raised to power 3? That is a 2 times 2 times 2, which will give us what? 8, okay? And 8 times 1 is still what? 8. Plus, 2 raised to the power 2 is 4. 4 times 1 will give us what? 4. Plus, 2 raised to the power 1 is 2. And 2 times 1 will give us what? 2. Plus, 2 raised to the power 0 is what? 1, okay? Anything raised to the power 0 is what? 1, okay? And 1 times 1 will give us what? 1. Don't just cancel out, you know? What I common mistake uh, I remember uh, students do make is when they just say 2 raised to the power 0, they just make it 0. And 0 times 1 is, is 0. And they would put 0 here. And when you do that, you've, you've gotten the answer wrong. And you definitely see that wrong answer in the option, okay? Because they know it's it's the common mistake students make. So don't make that mistake. Anything raised to the power 0 is what? 1. And 1 times 1 is still what? 1. Add 1, okay? So from here, what do we have? We have 2y plus 3. When we add this up, we have 1 plus 2, that is 3, plus uh, 4, that is 7. And 7 plus 8 will give us what? What? 15. Okay, so let's look for 2y. We'll take 3 to this side. We have 2y is equal to what? 15 minus what? 3. Okay, taking plus to this side, I hope you remember it to change to what? A negative sign. Okay, so 2y, what's 15 minus 3? That will give us what? A 12. Together, y will divide both sides by 2. Okay, so we cancel out. And what? how many times will 2 go in 12? 2 go in 12, how many times? 6 times. So we have y is equal to 6. Okay, so our answer for the value of y is what? 6. And our right option here is option C.